the sun. It's an immense powerhouse on a scale that almost defies the imagination. And it's the source of all life here on Earth. But what if that power was being tampered with? Recently, the latest generation of solar observation technology has revealed something shocking. UFOs have been seen flying closer to the sun than ever thought possible, and even plunging through the surface into its fiery interior. Obviously, this isn't a show of force, because let's face it, we'd be gone if it was a show of force. The appearance of these objects is often followed by explosive solar events that could have catastrophic consequences. Are UFOs really visiting our sun? And if they are, what does it mean for planet Earth? Join us as we reveal an alien presence on the sun on Unsealed Alien Files. A global effort has begun. Secret files hidden from the public for decades, detailing every UFO account, are now available to the public. We are about to uncover the truth behind these classified documents. Find out what the government doesn't want you to know. Unsealed Alien Files. Exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. December 21st, 2011. NASA's Stereo A satellite, one of a pair launched in 2006 to monitor solar activity, captures a mass ejection of energy and radiation from the surface of the sun. These ejections are sometimes big enough to reach the Earth. Our planet's magnetic field is the only thing standing between us and fiery destruction. The images are made available on the internet. A YouTube user, identifying himself as Sinixter, examines them and discovers something astonishing. One solar burst reveals a strange rectangular object hovering in space near the planet Mercury. Its outcroppings bear a striking resemblance to the solar panels found on our own satellites and space stations. But there are no known spacecraft in the area, making the Mercury object a bona fide UFO. Sinixter posts his findings on the popular video site, causing an instant sensation among ufologists and scientists alike. But this isn't the kind of attention NASA is looking for. Unsealed case file, the stereo cover-up. NASA claims the mysterious craft is in fact a solar filament, a massive jet of gas protruding out from the sun. Despite this scientific explanation, the agency then abruptly shuts down Stereo's image feed. In a statement, NASA explains that Stereo had gone into emergency sun reacquisition mode and that they are working on the recovery of the spacecraft to normal mode. Why did NASA close the stereo image feed a day after the Mercury UFO was revealed to the world? Were the agency's technical difficulties merely a coincidence? Or was it conducting its own study of the object far from the public eye? April 2012. Scientists with NASA's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, or SOHO, are examining images taken during a recent study of our sun's activity when they spot something extraordinary. It's a massive arm-like object, unlike anything known to naturally occur in space. And on closer inspection, it bears an uncanny resemblance to a metallic space station. News of the discovery quickly spreads across the world. Experts are amazed not only by the object's enormous size, but also its ability to maintain structural integrity so close to the fiery heart of our solar system. The alien station is only an estimated 400,000 miles from the sun's scorching surface. At that distance, even titanium melts. No known metal could withstand the intense heat. And heat 
isn't the only danger posed by the stellar giant. The sun emits intense radiation that makes extended missions within 1.3 million miles virtually impossible in craft constructed with any known materials. The closest any man-made object has come to the sun is the unmanned Helios-2 spacecraft that approached within 26 million miles. If the object really is an alien space station, then it is the product of an advanced technology almost beyond comprehension. But why are aliens so interested in our sun? Are they on a voyage of discovery? Or do they have another agenda? Coming up, we reveal the sun's power to wreak havoc here on Earth and investigate whether these disasters are the work of a larger alien plot. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. Recently, NASA satellites and telescopes have detected massive UFOs in close proximity to our sun. These objects were spotted by members of the public viewing images on the internet. But the agency has since restricted access to its archive. Is NASA trying to cover up the presence of UFOs near the sun? And if they are there, what are they doing? Could their activities pose a danger to planet Earth? Unsealed case file. The Great Northeastern Blackout. November 9th, 1965. Hundreds in the American Northeast see a bright object that some describe as a dome-shaped fireball streaking across the sky. At the same time, a small aircraft flying near Tideout, Pennsylvania, finds itself pursued by two UFOs. Air Force jets scramble to come to the aid of the beleaguered aircraft. They open fire on the objects, only to watch them fly off at an incredible rate of speed. In the space of an hour, UFOs have spread fear across much of the Northeast. But even this will be overshadowed by what happens next. Shortly after 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a massive blackout strikes the Northeast United States and Canada, leaving 30 million people without power for up to 13 hours. Behind the scenes, it triggers the activation of the top secret Mount Weather Emergency Facility in Virginia. It's an underground complex designed to house the president in the event of a nuclear attack. In the end, the blackout's cause is attributed to human error on the part of a power plant worker. But given the recent rash of UFO sightings near the sun, some experts now have a very different explanation for what happened. And it begins with the way the sun burns. The sun is a massive spheroid of mostly hydrogen and helium gas held together by the immense gravitational pull of its core, resulting in a constant explosive release of radiation in a process known as nuclear fusion. One of the byproducts of nuclear fusion is helium-3, an invisible substance scattered through the solar system by solar winds. The Earth's atmosphere prevents helium-3 from reaching its surface, but the moon has no atmosphere. Its surface has been bombarded by a constant stream of helium-3 for billions of years. And some experts believe this massive deposit could soon be the cause of the next great world conflict. That's because many scientists believe that helium-3 could one day be used in nuclear fusion reactors here on Earth. The nation that controls the moon's supply of helium-3 could one day control the world. NASA, too, is researching helium-3 as a potential fuel for fusion-powered spacecraft capable of traveling 10 times faster 
than any current technology. Could UFOs circling the sun be there to collect the abundant helium-3 to refuel their spaceships? Theoretically, UFOs fueled in this manner would emit a powerful magnetic field. And some experts now believe it was this kind of field that disrupted the Northeastern power grid, causing the massive blackout of 1965. Are UFOs responsible for disabling our power grids? Some experts have a very different theory about why UFOs are visiting the sun. One that may lift the veil on an alleged widespread NASA conspiracy to keep proof of their presence secret from the public. Unsealed case file. The Sun Divers. January 2010. NASA's twin stereo satellites, the same spacecraft that recorded the Mercury UFO in 2011, produce an astonishing series of images of massive, Earth-sized UFOs, not only dangerously close to the Sun, but actually diving beneath its scorching surface and then bursting into space from within. Objects of such size and proximity to a star should be quickly pulled inside and destroyed. But these objects appear to defy one of the most powerful forces in the universe with ease. The photos create an instant buzz among the UFO community who demand answers. NASA responds, stating the central data recorder that stores all the playback data from all the missions failed, resulting in the photographic anomalies. The agency dismisses the sun diving UFOs as a simple technical glitch. But then, in a surprise move, NASA removes any official trace of the photos from the internet with no explanation. Why would NASA so quickly censor photos it deemed worthless? What are they trying to hide? And how long have these UFO acrobatics been going on? The answer may lie in a defining moment in one of history's greatest civilizations. Coming up, we travel thousands of years into the past and reveal an influential king whose connection to the sun may have been out of this world. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. Recent photographic evidence suggests UFOs have been flying closer to the sun than ever before. Some experts believe it may be a source of alien fuel. Others suspect their connection goes back thousands of years. Many ancient cultures worshiped the sun, but one ruler took that devotion to a whole new level. He was Akhenaten, pharaoh of ancient Egypt during the mid 14th century BC and husband of the legendary Queen Nefertiti. At the time of his ascension to the throne, ancient Egyptians worshipped an array of gods and goddesses, each associated with a particular aspect of daily life. But Akhenaten replaced all of these with just one, Aten, the sun god, and decreed the people must worship him and him alone. What's fascinating about Aten is you have this powerful being that comes out of seemingly nowhere, replaces the pantheon of the old gods of Egypt, and takes over and gives his blessings to Akhenaten. Why would he choose Akhenaten? And why would Akhenaten choose to change an entire system of belief thousands of years old, just in the blink of an eye? It was a shocking break with thousands of years of religious tradition. But this wasn't the only remarkable thing about King Akhenaten. There's some connection between him and this deity. And if we believe in the idea that Aten was some sort of extraterrestrial being, 
then perhaps Akhenaten was actually offspring. For thousands of years, Egyptian pharaohs were depicted in art in a very similar fashion. But Akhenaten was strikingly different. His skull and features were elongated. His body shape, unlike anything seen before or since. Many experts have tried to explain these features as the result of hydrocephaly, or excess water on the brain. But ufologists have a very different theory. Akhenaten was the husband of Nefertiti and the father of Tutankhamun. But UFO theorists today call him the alien king. The resemblance between the ancient king and modern eyewitness descriptions of aliens is uncanny. Further evidence of the alien Egyptian connection can be found at the Temple of Seti in Abydos, built 50 years after Akhenaten's death. In the Temple of Seti, there were hieroglyphics that were discovered that highly resemble flying machines on the temple wall. Was Aten, the sun god, an alien? And the sun-worshipping pharaoh Akhenaten really an extraterrestrial hybrid? If so, his heirs would carry alien blood in their veins. Could their descendants still walk the earth today? Living proof of an ancient alien race. According to scientists at the Swiss DNA Genealogy Center, Igenia, the answer is yes. A recent study has proven that up to 70% of British men and half of all Western European men are related to the Egyptian pharaoh Tutankhamun. This means more than 50% of all men in Western Europe may share a common ancestor, the alleged alien hybrid sun king, Akhenaten. Coming up, the sun may be more than our energy source. It may be a clue to the very origin of our species. This is Unsealed Alien Files. Exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. The time to act is now. Tell us your story. Get involved in the fight to unseal the truth now. NASA images have revealed strange objects that may be massive, planet-sized UFOs plunging through the surface of the sun only to later burst back out into space. Some experts believe extraterrestrials are using the sun as a refueling station for their UFOs. But new pictures taken by NASA's Solar Observatory spacecraft, SOHO, may hold the key to the greatest UFO question of our time. It's an enormous hole appearing in the surface of the sun and some experts think this hole may be where the massive sun-diving UFOs are disappearing. They believe the hole is in fact an interstellar portal through which UFOs pass to emerge through a similar portal in a star somewhere else in the galaxy. In this way, UFOs can travel vast interstellar distances in the blink of an eye. And with an estimated 300 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy alone, the possible destinations are virtually limitless. If this is true, then one of Earth's greatest ancient civilizations may be directly linked to aliens from another star system, which leads some experts to think that one day we may discover that our true home isn't here on Earth at all but rather somewhere else, in a galaxy, on the other side of the universe. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth.